Hello everyone, this is a brand new day on this slightly new map I have here. I, I haven't you know, just started it, didn't want to show you all the, the wood punching. That's, that's all well and truly over right now as I have that going. This, this is going to be a, an experiment called Vegetarian Minecraft. I got this idea from a friend. And the, the core concept is to not hurt anything that is not hostile to you. So this means, um, you know, no killing sheep, pigs, cows, chickens, any of those things. So it really limits your food options. So right now you can see I'm trying to grow some wheat. And, uh, you know, it's slow going. It's slow going. And pretty soon 1.5 will hit. And that's going to nerf bone meal. So I haven't been using bone meal for instant growth just to get myself prepared for the, the bone meal nerf. So... This is uh this is slow going and hopefully I'll grow enough of that to to not die. As you can see, I've you know my hunger bar is getting kind of low. I've been subsisting on you know zombie flesh and apples so far. So I've been growing a little apple tree farm over here just to uh, have some sort of basic sustenance. Hopefully, while I wait for the wheat to get going and while I wait for I don't know finding like potatoes or carrots or something. That's going to be the biggest challenge. Uh, you know, being being vegetarian in Minecraft means a couple things. It limits your power, right? That's that's what's interesting. It really limits your power. For instance, uh, enchanting. I can, I can't make an enchanting table without books. Books I can't get unless I have leather. So, really, I have to resort to a couple other ways of getting books. One, I have to find a village and take any books they might have. I have to. Uh, find strongholds and get books from there. And that's really the only the only way I can do it. Maybe I can trade for books with someone else. Same thing with arrows. I can get arrows from skeletons. I can get them from trading with villagers, maybe dungeon chests, but I'm not going to kill any chickens, so... And I can't get feathers from them. I am going to have chickens. I'm going to raise chickens uh, so I can get eggs. I figure if I raise chickens and cows, I can get eggs and milk and wheat and I can make cake and I'll eat a lot of cake and that's, that's kind of what I think I'll do. I'll have cakes all around my various workstations and you know see see how that goes. Uh, in the meantime just the first couple days here has been really interesting you know I'm, I'm hungry most of the time uh, which is you know which is a problem. Uh, eventually that'll go away once I get a real good cycle going but as you can see it's slow going. So so what's the plan, you're asking me? What's the, what's the plan? Well, I, I've been inspired by, by MK and, and Terrace HD to, uh, to build more beautiful things, right? Usually I build, like, rectangles, which, you know, there's certain symmetry, I guess, to rectangles. But I'd really much rather prefer to, to build something worth looking at. And I think I've always preferred building into natural formations of, you know dirt and stone. So I'm thinking I'm going to build some stuff in there. There's an entrance there. I'm going to build a kind of stairway through here. I'm going to do something cool with this arch here, something cool with that. But also what I'm going to do is live dangerously. I've done this on one or two other worlds. I'm playing on hard right now. And so that's that's fine. That's not so dangerous. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to build doors, right? I'm not going to build doors. I'm not going to really build any serious defenses. I'm just going to you know, build stuff that's that looks nice and that I can live in and, you know, hopefully it doesn't get blown up by creepers too often. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm really going to try to limit myself in the use of torches, you know, and not, uh, not do what I usually do, what we all usually do, which is make this sort of impervious, you know, fortress or these sort of incredible zones of ultimate safety. I'm, gonna, I'm going to try to avoid doing that. And we'll just see... We'll see how that goes. All right, so so right now, as you can see, I have this wheat growing. I have the apple tree over here. You can see if I can... Do I have an axe? No, I'll have to make an axe, I guess. Uh, right now, I'm living out here on this, you know, little tiny piece of land here. Eventually, I'm going to move in there a bit. But there will, no, there will be no doors. There will be no doors. Just a nice big opening, well-lit and beautifully constructed that, you know, monsters can wander through if they get... Curious, but I, I will hopefully be well armed and ready to uh, to face them. As long as I'm not weak from hunger, from having no pork or beef around. I'm going to miss pork and beef both. 
So we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, well, let's see. I'm going to craft a, an axe here. See if I can chop down a tree and get, you know, some apples to, to tide me over. You know, for, for the next little bit while I wait for two more pieces of wheat to grow so I can have one bread. So far, that's what I've had. I've had, like, an apple, some zombie flesh, I think, and, and one piece of bread. So not... Not that much food. Not that much food, guys. Getting real, real hungry here. And, you know, these are apple trees, but you're never, you're never guaranteed to get an apple. And usually you only get maybe one, you know, if you're lucky. So, here's hoping. And you know, I was thinking of playing this on hardcore, um, you know, which would be kind of fun, but it might also be just a giant failed experiment, right? Like, oh yeah, I'm playing hardcore, and what if I starve to death in the first day? Which is, which is something we are generally worried about uh, in our hard or hardcore games when the uh, bone meal nerf comes out, right? It's not going to be as quick as it used to be, kill a skeleton and get, you know, bread, essentially. Um, I understand it's going to be, I think, at least three uses of, of one piece of bone meal to uh, to get a piece of wheat. So instead of, you know, one, one bone being equal to... Um, you know, one piece of bread, now it's going to be three bones equal to one piece of bread. So that's, that's three dead skeletons for two pieces of hunger. That chunk isn't loading very well. Well, we're just we're just going to ignore it. We'll look over here. This is nice. So there's also another feature uh, I saw up here that I, I want to build into eventually, and it's really, it's funny because it's not really part of the living dangerously plan, but you can't see it from here. Let me traverse these hills. There is a naturally occurring floating flat point that I really want to get up to and like build a tower up to and you know see what see what I can do with it. There it is. See that? So I think that's that's pretty cool looking. I like to build something up there. I'm gonna li live up there and see what I can do. And man, look at this. This is stuff is not loading very well. I'm not used to this. I'm used to things loading much more quickly. I don't know. Maybe I've got too much stuff going on on my computer right now. Who knows? But this is this is kind of a plan. You can see it makes a nice shadow. So that's kind of dangerous, you know? Um, but I'd like to live up there, eventually. Much like Ernie wanting to live on the moon, I would like to live on this platform uh, with darkness below it. Yeah, so that's the basic plan, uh, team. I am going to try to start farming. Hopefully find some pumpkins and some chickens. Right now, I just see sheep which you know it's fine because they're not edible anyway so it's not like i really would be living very differently man still it's pretty though so that's going to be the adventure you guys that's going to going to be what i'm going to do i'm going to venture out and see if i can find oh no it means there's no wolves either i can't i can't get wolves because there's no well i suppose if i get enough zombie flesh i could i could raise a team of wolves well we'll see We'll see how that goes. In the meantime, I'm going to try to get down this mountain without killing myself because, as you can see, I'm very hungry. Oh, there's a creeper and a zombie. So, yeah, there he is. Very... Hmm. Yes, yeah, sorry. I burped in real life there. I am very hungry in Minecraft and uh, a little bit in life as well. So, I am going to have to deal with that. In the meantime, I'm going to head back over here to my, my little base of operations and not harm this guy. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna get some wool though. I'm gonna get a bunch of wool off these guys, and we'll see. We'll see how this goes. You know, it may be a failed experiment already because, as you can see, I'm pretty close to starving to death. And I think the way I'm gonna play it is if I do actually starve to death at some point, uh, I'm gonna call it quits. I'm like, well, you know, I tried, I failed, I starved to death. Oh, sweet! Look at all these apples. Oh, I'm not gonna starve to death right now, suckers. All right. There we go. That is good news. Going to replant some trees. Hopefully grab an apple there. There we are. It's not looking so grim anymore, folks. It's not looking so grim. Got some apples. Going to grow some more apple trees, probably. All right. Well, team, that's a, that's a day. The first day you're with me in vegetarian Minecraft. We're going to go over here, get to sleep. And, uh, well... Who knows? I'm going to sleep in this game, but not super often, right? Again, part of living dangerously is dealing with the fact that night happens, right? And that 
darkness occurs and monsters come out during that time. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. In the meantime, three apples. I'm going to notch on one here just a little bit. I'm going to keep the other two. I'm not going to waste them just yet. Just in case I... Well, you know what? What am I waiting for? Might as well notch them both now. Get my hunger up there a little bit. All right. There we go. Okay, team. Uh, first day in vegetarian Minecraft, and I'll keep checking in and let you know how it goes. And hopefully I'll have something beautiful built uh, by the time you come back. If I don't starve to death from hunger from working on this in the meantime. Alright, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you guys again soon.